In this video, I'll be solving January 2020, paper 2, question 6. Part A. The radius of each circle in the rectangle WXYZ shown below is 7 cm. The circles fit exactly into the rectangle. Part 1. Show that the area of the rectangle is 2,352 cm squared for 2 marks. Now, notice here that the question said to show. So, they want us here to prove that the area of the rectangle is 2,352 cm squared. So I'll start off here by writing that the area of the rectangle is equal to length multiplied by breadth. And I'll go to my diagram here and notice here that the length here is equivalent to four diameters of the circle and the breadth here is equivalent to three diameters of the circle. So I'll use that in my derivation. So area here is equal to the length is four diameters and the breadth here is three diameters where d represent diameters. So simplifying here, four multiplied by three here is 12, d by d is d squared. Now we know here that a diameter is equal to Two radii and they gave us here that the radius is 7 centimeters so this is 2 multiplied by 7 which is equal to 14 centimeters so I'm going to substitute here d is equal to 14 centimeters into this equation so the area here is equal to 12 multiplied by 14 squared this will give me an area here of 2352 centimeter squared QED. Part 2. Calculate the area of the shaded region for 3 marks. Take pi to be 22 over 7. So let's go to our diagram here and you would see here that the shaded region is outside of the circles. So if I want to find the area of the shaded region, I will take the area of the rectangle and subtract the total area of the circles. So I'll write that out here. Area of shaded region is equal to area of the rectangle minus the total areas of the circle. Now, the area of the rectangle is given by length multiplied by breadth minus the total area here of the circle will be n and the area of one circle is pi r squared, where n is the number of circles. Now, in our diagram, you have 4 multiplied by 3, which is 12 circles. So, n is 12. And we found here in part 1 the area of the rectangle. So, this year we will substitute it in 2352 minus 12. They told us here to take pi as 22 over 7. And the radius here is 7. So this is 7 squared. So this is 2,352. Working this out on my calculator here, I am getting here 1,848. When I subtract here, I'm getting 504 centimeters squared. Part B, the diagram below not drawn to scale shows triangle MNP in which angle MPN is equal to angle PMN which is equal to 52 degrees and MN is equal to 12.5 centimeters. Part 1, state the type of triangle shown above for one mark. Now you would notice here that these two angles here are the same. So, in isosceles triangle, the base angles are equal. So, this 
here is an isosceles triangle. Part 2. Determine the value of the angle PNM for one mark. Now, we know that the total interior angles in a triangle here is 180 degrees. So if I sum these two angles here and subtract it from 180 degrees, I'm going to get here angle PNM. So angle PNM is equal to 180 minus 52 plus 52. This here is 180 minus 104. This is equal to 76 degrees. So I'll label that in. Part 3. Calculate the area of the triangle MNP for two marks. Now the area of the triangle is given by a half AB sine angle C. And in our diagram here, I want to label the relevant sides for the calculation. Now, in an isosceles triangle, the sides that are opposite the equal angles, they are also equal. So it means here that this side here is P, which is opposite the angle. So P here is equal to 12.5 centimeters, and M here is also equal to 12.5 centimeters. All right, and our angle here, which is between the two sides, M and P, is 76 degrees. So I'm going to use that here now to rewrite the formula. So this is equal to a half MP sine angle N. Substituting the values now, this is a half multiplied by 12.5, multiplied by 12.5, multiplied here by sine 76 degrees. Multiplying this out on my calculator here, I'm getting here 75.8 centimeters squared.